Brian, my neighbor and uh, owner of Sticks Custom Brand Saw Milling, is coming up to cut my log up today. Uh, we're doing a trade excavator work for that. But uh, he's been doing this for 20 years, and he says he sees people on YouTube uh, wasting time setting up these mills, and he wants to show you how it's done. And it's my we... friend Brian here. How long have you been milling, Brian? 20 years, and it only feels like 40. <laughs> Brian mentioned to me he's seen some YouTube channels where guys are setting these up and they just waste time or don't do it right. He's going to show us how the pros do it. <laughs> no pressure, no pressure. All Loving right. it. Well, first let's get the truck out of the way. Let's disconnect. Oh, I know. Come over here and lift up this nose. What you got here is a big teeter-totter. We love teeter-totters. Boom, he's up. Let me get the truck out of the way. Got the hitch disconnected by using this jack. Brian, do you have a nickname for your old truck? Uh, Rex for sure. Rex, short. that's right. Short for Fortosaurus Rex. <laughs> what year is that truck? That's a 67 and still going strong. 67. 54 years old, just like me. So here's my level. It's also my jack. So we're just going to see real quick what's happening here. He's tilted out toward Rob a little bit. And he's tilted to Rob's right a little bit. So leave an air gap here and you hear that leaving an air gap jack this one up one more time you'll see there's a air gap on that leg and an air gap on this leg so now when I bring the head back it'll tilt this way and this way which will get it a lot straighter than it is so we'll let the teeter-totter do its thing talk loud Brian Where's my... Go up by the hitch there, Rob, and watch the, when the head goes back. So by bringing the saw forward, he's teeter-tottered it and brought the front end down. That tower's up off the ground, now we'll see how we do it. I want it to go that way a little bit, which is good. We like him pretty flat. We're there. All I gotta do is drop the other three legs and we're good to go. ready to cut. Now I'm not terribly concerned about getting it perfect because I've got a multi-thousand pound engine which is going to be rocking back and forth. I can put up to about a 5,000 pound log on this which is going to add weight to the whole shenanigans and when I rock back and forth those legs are going to settle in a little bit. So maybe after the first log I might check my legs but I don't have to have it perfect right out of the chute. I'm ready to cut. I'll drop the forks. We'll be ready to load a log. We're ready to go. Brian Tremblay, Sticks Custom Milling. <laughs> uh, your wood miser, uh, what model is it? Or do you even it's, remember? It's what they call their LT70. It's the biggest of the big boys that they make that's still portable. You go bigger than this and you're not portable anymore. It's got all the hydraulics for rotating the log, tilting the log. I've got the automatic set works for my up and down action. So I don't have to do too much thinking uh, with my math, but it's all programmable in the, in the machine. So there we go.
Feed me a log. Thank you to Brian from Sticks Custom Milling in Woodland, Washington. We've got a start to our rusts on lumber, our board and bat uh, siding that we need on our campground projects. And thank you for showing us how to quickly set up a wood miser and be ready to roll. And thanks for joining me on the Flanagan Homestead, where Christmas trees are my business, teaching including horticulture is my job, and outdoor projects are my passion. Be blessed, everyone. Stay tuned for more milling and putting it on the uh, buildings on our campground. Be blessed, everyone.